Hi everyone, Michael Davids and Kitty Lane from Buffont Delacroix Hair and Makeup. Now, you might be looking at Kitty and she doesn't look how she normally looks. No, no I don't. There's a little bit going above the eyebrow which is <laughs> terrible, but it's all for a purpose. Absolutely. <laughs> we had one of our friends call up and she's um, an MC and she's going as the one and only Elvira Mistress of the Dark and she called us and asked us to put together a wig for her and um, we don't do anything by halves. No, definitely not. Especially not to you with wigs, do you? I know. <laughs> and I have seen there are a few Elvira wigs on the market and I don't know why but they don't quite hit the nail on the head. So we're going to show you how to make one. Um, you will need uh, quite a few things. It is probably not the cheapest project but if you want an authentic look this is the tutorial that you should be looking at Definitely. Yeah. and um kitty did her makeup today as well yeah i had no idea that elvira was jesus she was the most colorful goth in history i know um so <laughs> i just looked at a few face charts some old photos of her but don't worry that i've done it already we will be posting a separate tutorial on exactly how to do all of this. And I've got something to confess, in fact Kitty knows this, I've never been a tattoo man, never ever 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 ever. And I, I took you for your first ever one, didn't she I? She did, <laughs> Kitty took me for my first tattoo and it was because I met Elvira Cassandra Peterson herself a couple of years and back in Melbourne. Monster Fest, wasn't yeah. it? And she signed my arm and, check that out, Oh, get up close. Yeah, you've got to get up nice and close. <laughs> Look at that, Elvira. And, um, and so you're a bit of a fanboy. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Kitty took me to get it tattooed on. I sprayed it with hairspray. Yeah, actually, that was at a little tattoo salon in St Kilda called Voodoo Inc. Mm -hmm. Now, what you're going to need to produce this Elvira style is, of course, a long, long black wig. These wigs are actually really inexpensive. If you type in... Yeah, because they're, um, they're synthetic, so, you know... Go, go to look. eBay, type in black cosplay, C-O-S-P-L-A-Y, I yeah, think. Yeah, <laughs> you pick them up for 20 bucks each, you know, and they're actually really good quality for what they are. So you're going to want a long one like this. You're going to want a short version yeah. like this, nice and spiky. Yeah. Definitely, there's a lot of layers and things going on right mm -hmm. there. <laughs> and the roots of this one is actually um, teased, it's called permatease, so to get height and volume. Um, nowadays the pictures on eBay are pretty accurate, so yeah. <laughs> and also, another little feature that Elvira did have in her hair was she had her hair parting yeah. actually going vertically. And um, so we've gotten this old wig. You may or may not have an old wig that um, that has got a skin top on it. They're sort of a bit dated nowadays. But if you do, nice little touch. Okay, yeah, yeah. just for that authentic look. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start off with our two main wigs. The bottom wig, the one with the length, and the top spiky wig. Now, what you're going to want to do is find the very centre of the forehead in the first wig and you want to marry that up with the very centre of the forehead of the short wig. So you get the two of them, put them together like that. Now, a really, really cool, easy way to basically secure it, I think in the sewing and dressmaking industry they call it tacking. Let's get a stapler and staple them together. And this will hold everything in place so you can sew it. <laughs> to sew the two wigs together, use a strong upholstery thread. This will make sure that the wigs do not come apart. And to secure them together, make sure you sew at least one to two inches either side of the centre parting. The technique I'm using is called a blanket stitch or a pillow stitch. This is extremely strong and will hold the wigs together beautifully. Now, it is really really important that you try to get 
the underneath of both of the wigs sewn together without getting too much of the hair caught in with the sewing otherwise you'll just end up bunching the hair around the front so really just try to sew the caps together and part the hair in a way that the thread and needle works in harmony okay so we've tacked the two wigs together the long wig and the short wig now the reason we've done this is because we're going to stuff the shorter wig to get a beehive effect and we've got some cotton wool in um, in a hairnet so nice and light not too heavy don't use plastic bags because it will drive you crazy you'll hear it all night <laughs> we're gonna take about one inch into the hairstyle and we're going to tack that flat so we can have some bangs so we get more of a, a beehive and fringe or bangs effect rather than a cone head <laughs> and do that about three or four times then you need to put the wig on on yourself or on your model or whoever's going to be wearing it so you can gauge exactly how high you want the beehive and where to tack it at the back. So let's get kitty. Basically, you've got the two wigs sewn together and pop that right on. So always start at the front. Only Move slightly uncomfortable. Your way through to the back. <laughs> now, when you're styling a wig on your head, we use one of these things. It's basically two little alligator clips with um, a drawstring. See? And um, instead of having to pin it down... Obviously, I don't want pins in my head. No! <laughs> and that goes under there. Then you pin it on the other side. These are really simple to make. Like, you know, you Ow. can... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, there we go. Okay, now what we're going to do... Obviously, um, the, the bangs come down first. But what we're going to do, we're going to spin Miss Kitty Lane around where we can see the back of the wig. So this has got all the teasing and stuff. As you can see, that can flip forward. And we're going to get our padding and stuff that. You only need a little bit. So literally get that and place it in the top there. Get your stapler on this side. Staple. And then the same thing on this side. So together where we put the staples in the back and the side of the two wigs. So here we go. I know it's really hard to follow because there's a lot of hair going on, but please, please bear with me. And the beauty about these needles here is, have a look, you can actually loop that through. So now we're going to actually style the wig out. Um, I don't think it's ever very professional just to whack on a wig and, and go. You need to do some sort of work. Section the wig out and tease it right down to the roots to get maximum volume. Work through every single section to make sure you have no holes in the wig at all. Then get your brush and comb all of the hair into place parting it in the center and combing backwards out around each side and then secure with some hairspray. Finish the front of the wig by trimming in the long pieces to match up with the bangs in the front. Take your brush and hairspray and blend both of the wigs together to create the finished result. Okay, so this is where the third wig comes into play. We've got the two wigs pretty much put together. She's looking pretty hot. Find a wig with a skin top like that. Using some sharp scissors, cut out the skin top section of the wig. Slicing out excess hair will ensure that the skin parting will blend seamlessly into the rest of the wig.
Okay, so you've got your little skin part here. You can hot glue this, but because we're just in the hairdressing salon, pop a little bit of cheap gel from the supermarket. That will hold it down nice and tight. And we're going to get that and place that right in the centre parting. We're going to vertically place these pins so they're just out of sight. <laughs> All right, I think it's time for Miss Kitty to pop this on and we can show you how it looks. Let's go. This is the finished product! How exciting! <laughs> <laughs> this is actually quite heavy, even though we did use um, cotton wool stuffing. That's okay, darling. I'm used to heavy hair. <laughs> now make sure you pin in the sides, otherwise it will fall otherwise, off. Otherwise, we don't want it to fall off halfway down the street. No, God, no. Let's make sure. Give that a bit of a spray. That might need a bit of a trim, but... Make sure the bangs are good. But seriously, how authentic is that look? You cannot get better than this. There are a few questionable Elvira wigs on the market, but if you jump on eBay, get a, get a cheap long black wig, get a spiky teased up one, half an hour, 45 minutes in your back room, knock it together and you can look as sexy as Kitty. Oh, Stop it. You stop it. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> so please follow us and subscribe to our channel, Buffont Delacroix. My name's Michael Davids. And I'm Kitty Lane. And all of our information is down below. Facebook. Twitter. Instagram. Everything. Everything. We'll see you next time. Bye, darling. Unpleasant dreams.